Over 40,000 years ago, the Aboriginal Ghana people settled the area of Adelaide Plains, calling it Tandanya, which means place of the red kangaroo. Nowadays, the city of Adelaide is scattered with loads of Aboriginal attractions that you can visit for free. Give me a couple of minutes, I'll show you where they are and where you should be heading. First of all, I want to talk about the Aboriginal flag. In 1971, it was planted here by Harold Thomas, who designed it. It is now a national flag in relation to the Aboriginal community. The red symbolises the blood that the Aboriginal people had gone through over the years. The black is for the earth. We see the earth as our mother, Mother Earth. And the sun is for the brightness and giving us hope for the future. One great resource is the Aboriginal Attractions Guide that you can download from the City of Adelaide website. The other great one is you can purchase from the museum retail shop is the Ghana Walking Trail Guide. This highlights some of the significant sites within the city area around the Torrens and even give you a history about Victoria Square. The local Aboriginals relied heavily on the River Torrens for water and of course food. But when the Europeans arrived, the river torrents changed as it became heavily polluted with effluent. Typhoid and other major diseases devastated the Ghana population. And in fact, by 1852, there were only 180 Aboriginals left here in Adelaide. Look, I've got to say, the tour of the Aboriginal sites around Adelaide has really opened my eyes to some of the things we have in this state that I didn't even know about. This, for example, Kate, where are we? Well, actually, we're at the back of the Festival Theatre facing the Torrens River. Um, and this is a beautiful mural painted by Trevor Nichols. Yep. And it's a great example of the different styles of Aboriginal art techniques that you find across the whole of Australia. As people of Australia, come and have a look. Have a look at our culture, our heritage, our dream times. 